friends, Farisa here from Grow Your Own. And today I wanted to talk to you about this beautiful flower. You can see it, the butterfly blue pea flower. That if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me posting lots and lots of these flowers. It makes a delicious tea. It's loaded with antioxidant. The botanical name for this flower is Clitoria Ternity. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but for obvious reasons, I prefer to call it the butterfly loopy flower. Okay, it's it's a fast-growing vine. Um, it's a beautiful vine, but you do need a trellis to grow this. It's really easy to grow. Um, now I've shared some seeds, and I've gotten feedback that not all of the seeds germinate. Um, but I haven't had a problem so far germinating these seeds. In fact, they reseed themselves every year and I have lots and lots of plants throughout the yard. I'm always happy to share seeds, so I have a lot of seeds coming. And it's, let me show you. So basically, these flat pods are what the seeds, um, can see so these these are the seeds they're beautiful tiny seeds seeds um, that I've collected this is a green pod it's a flat so the pods are flat and uh, obviously they start out green and then they're brown you know you leave them on the vine until they're brown and they pop very easily. If you collect these and you don't hold on to them tightly, they'll pop and the seeds will fall out. And so here are the seeds. Let me focus. So here are the tiny little seeds. And then I basically lay them out here on, you can put them in a sheet or here I have them just on a paper towel and I lay them out and they dry. In about two or three days, these are going to be dry. I usually leave them out a lot longer than that because I do like them to get very, very dry so there's no moisture because eventually I do put them in an airtight container when they get like that. And I save them all year long and I share them. I make tea. You can make a beautiful blue rice from them. Um, it's really hot in the garden right now, um, but on another day, I will show you what the vines look like. I might have a clip of that, and I'll insert it here in this video, but I just wanted to pop by and just um, share with you this beautiful tea. And, and like I said, I have not had a problem germinating these seeds. If you plant them and you see... Uh, a month goes by because they usually germinate within uh, 10 to 15 days so if you see 30 days have gone by then you're right it's um, those seeds are probably not going to germinate um, like I said they come back easily each year I have a lot of them in the yard so they do reseed so just be mindful of that when you plant them and these pods um, fall you'll have lots of tiny plants in your yard um, they're drought tolerant, so they can tolerate, you know, some drought and dry days. Not a problem. Very easy to care for. Will thrive in poor soil, so no issues there. I haven't had an issue with pests. You really do need a trellis because it will, it will go bonkers on you. It will take off. Um, I find that, you know, I do trim, you know, the vines just to contain them and it also you can basically you know I train them um, when it's nicer out and it's not as hot as it is today I will um, film another video and just show you what my vine looks like um, but I use it to it's a natural food coloring I make rice blue rice it's delicious it's fun it's fun but it's loaded with antioxidant and almost every day I do have a cup of this tea so it's, um, I'm not going to get into all the <clears throat> medicinal uh, properties, but there are many. Um, you can look it up and it's a fun vine to plant. If not for anything else, it's really pretty. And um, let me show you, I do have um, <clears throat> a cup of tea 
and I want to show you. So it starts out when you make it, it's blue. Okay, it looks like that and it's blue. If you add acidic like lemon juice or lime or anything like that, it's, I'll show you, look what happens to it. You see that? It turns purple. It's really, really cool. It's a big hit with the kids. Um, it's great for parties. And it's just a fun, fun drink. And like I said, the benefits are it's loaded with antioxidants. And I have a cup or a glass every day, almost. It's delicious. I usually make it and I'll add honey to it but you can also put it in your favorite cocktail. And there are lots of recipes out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you like this video, let this video hit the like button. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Um, and hit the notification bell so you uh, don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to post at least one video a week. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time and I'm very happy um, I'm getting the opportunity to share my gardening adventures, um, successes, failures, and just um, my joy for gardening that I can share with all of you. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.